Hello everyone. Uh, we are now in our week just before we finish school um, and this week is Spanish week. So I thought what would be a great idea is to get one of the books out that I've just bought that is translated into Spanish. Now, usually you're used to me reading the stories to you, um, but that isn't going to happen today. Uh, one, because I'm not a Spanish speaker. And two, because I want you to really focus on the language that's being used in this book. And the book is titled in translation to English is You, Me and Empathy, or Empatia that's here. Now, empathy is all about trying to understand what other people feel and trying to think about what you could do to make them feel better or to help them. Now, with it being Spanish week, I thought what would be quite good is that a lot of us, although we have done Spanish with Mr. Wilson and a couple of other lessons, um, Spanish is probably a language that we don't know that well. And we have lots and lots of children in this school that come into this school, and it might have been you at one point, that didn't know English very well at all. And for us that look at this book and think, oh my goodness, what does that say? That's exactly how you may have felt at one point or your friends and your class may feel about English and they'll rely heavily upon the pictures and some of the key words. OK, so really, really have a think when we're looking through this book about what it might be about. OK, I'm going to talk you through a few pointers and then afterwards I'm going to give your teachers a read through that someone else has done of the actual English book. OK. So really have a look at any key words that you can find. And I'm going to provide you with a worksheet. And when you go through this book and when you look through it with me now, note down some key words and think about from the picture as well. Could, do you have any clues? Do you think you know what that one of the words might mean and how can that tell the story a bit easily? OK, so it is called You, Me and Empathy. OK, and it's by Janine Saunders. And it is illustrated by Sophia Cardoso. And here, one of the key words I'd probably write down is uh, illustrado, because that gives me a bit of an indication that I think it might mean illustrated. Okay. Okay. Let's have a look at this first one. So you can see a love heart here. Think about, um, you've got your sign off here. So is this a letter? Um, to someone possibly that they have written. You've got the word empathy here again, so about empathy. What do you think this letter might be saying and who do you think it might be from? Okay, so we've got our first page here. Um, we've got the words familia. To me, that would indicate that it might mean something, again, from the picture. You could note that down on your sheet. Are there any other words in here that potentially you might know? And think about what it's telling you about. It must be something about family, surely. Okay. And then we've got here and somewhere it looks like a park. And potentially a mum over here. Another mum over here. What is it trying to show in this picture? Okay, and have a look here. Personas. What do we think that could potentially mean? And then again, we've got here some questions. I can see question marks here. What, what questions do you think they're trying to ask? Um, you as the reader and what story do you think it's starting to tell? And then here we can see there's different types of emotions here. So Feliz, what do we think that could mean from the uh, picture that you've got there? And then you've got Triste, what do you think is happening here? And then you've got Este, Precapado, so think about what that might mean. And again, preoccupied, how else would you be feeling? And then here, you've got the word an ajado. So think about what's happening here. What's the face showing here? What, what's, trying to be, what's trying to show in, the, in that picture there? And then we've got another one here, followed by some questions. What do you think they're asking you? What do you think that that person's asking you at that point? Okay, think about what's happening here. Got the words infirma. What might that might mean? Think about the clues. Got a hot water bottle here. Do you think she's feeling well? And then in Brazo, what do you think's happening here? What do you think's going on between um, the mum and the child? What do you think he's doing? And then you've got something that looks like breakfast down there. And then you've got the word comprendo. What do we think that means? Do you comprehend? What would that mean? 
that we would use. So think about what he's doing there. What's he trying to show throughout the book? Next page. Ah, now something else is happening here. What's what's wrong with him, do we think? And what's his mum doing here to show us empathy? Can you see any of these keywords? Gripe, hasa, mano, comprendo. Again, they're using the word comprendo. So think about what's happening with the story. How is it moving on there? Our next page here, another word, embrazo. What do you think is happening there to embrace someone? What does that mean? And you've got amado, conmigo, and triste. And then again, you've got your questions here, down here. What do you think they're asking you? What's happening here? What's he trying to show in the book? You're all right, something else is happening here. I can see some sort of emotion that's happening here with this boy. Has something happened to him? What's he trying to show? And then, as a consequence, what's he doing to this boy? What's he showing there? What's he doing? What do you think he's saying? So I can see speech marks there. And then we've got here, the roles are reversed now. What's this boy doing to this one here? And then what questions do you think they're asking? What's it trying to show at this point from these pictures to this one? Okay, I want to see the word rover there. That potentially might be the name of something that's on that picture. Don't know whether that girl looks quite happy or sad. What do you think rover's doing? Wrong or right? Uh, and then it moves on. And see that this person spotted them now. And you've got Veras and me. What's the dog doing? What do you think this person is thinking at this point in the story? Again, you think of empathy and helping people. Aha, so the girl definitely wasn't happy because I can see here that she's now crying. They've got Sulo, Sunido, Waro. And then you've got that word there, Intentalo. How would that relate? Intention, maybe? What do you think he's doing there? What's he giving her? Okay, and then we're moving on. You've got Brazo and Dano. And you've got the questions there. How do you think that this person's making the girl feel? What, they do? what are they doing? And we've got another situation here. Oh no, this, this person's not looking very happy. What's happening everywhere else in the playground apart from this person? Aha, uh -huh. and then you've got the word divert here. What word can you think of that we've learned recently that might uh, be translated there? And then you've got soul. So something's happening. Something's happened to all of these that is the same. And then something different is happening to this person. Think about what's going on there. Aha, and this has changed now. Our person in the story is doing something to this person that was sat on the, uh, on the, the wall there. What are they doing? How is it showing empathy and thinking of others? And you've got Karai, Arena. Amplia and then dentro. What do you think it's trying to show there? You see the children there. What's going on here? All right. What's happening here? They look pretty happy. What are they doing? And you've got words like solo, which might mean on your own, jugar, and then rubble. What do you think that is happening here? What's it trying to show? Show friendship, possibly. And this is very nice. Uh, BFF. I think we all know what BFF means. And you've got all the drawings here and then lovely, lovely pictures. Do you think they've got a good friendship there? Do you think they're all happy? And then what questions do you think it's asking you? It might be asking you whether you've got a best friend. And we've got on here, what's happening here? So this person in our character is having a bit of a think by the looks of things. Now the playground looks quite empty. And you've got Verde. Escondirse, Intentalo, and Alto. And what's happening here? Let's see what we see on here. Right, so we can see that that person's looking confused now. Must be a dad there. And it looks like the girls up here, I wonder if they're feeling scared or happy. I'm not sure. If she's up there and she's not coming down, might give us a bit of a clue. You've got Sima, Para, Sequendo, and Asustra. And what's happening there? See, there's some speech here. Do you think the dad's trying to encourage her to come down? Then you've got on here, um, you've got here on the slide. Oh no, they don't look very happy here. You've got Sentia, 
tumbalia, lacima, and then determa. So I think that might be determined possibly. So maybe, I don't know, maybe this person's plucked up the courage to go down and is still a bit nervous, but determined to do it. And then your next page there. Oh, are they shouting up or something? Are they courage to come down? She looks a bit happier there. Think about what the story is trying to tell you at that point. Is this person encouraging the other person to come down? How are they showing that they're a good friend? Aha. So they're now coming down, making a big squealing sound by the look of things. They've obviously achieved the goal and they've come down, which is great off the slide. And then how do you think this person's feeling towards this person here? Happy, grateful, sad. I don't think it'd be sad. And what do you think he might be saying to this character here? Oh no, this doesn't look like a very happy character. You've got Comparte and Limpio. What's happening here? So it's got plaster, he's got his arms folded. That doesn't look very happy. All right, and then they all seem to be together. Oh no, looks like someone's fallen with glasses there. Oh, this doesn't look very good, does it? And these look quite concerned, a bit of bullying that might be happening there potentially. And you've got the word cruel. Which is, a sim which is the same word that we use for something not very nice. And then fondo. So think about what might be happening here. What scenario is going on here? What do you think this character is going to do? All right. So he doesn't look very happy anymore. He's walking away. And she's looking a bit happy for herself. I wonder if she's stuck up for the boy. And um, he's not very happy that it's being told not to do it. So you've got Extrano, Columpio, Allegendos and being so it's a question there i wonder what they're asking then you've got here oh it's easy trying to explain what's happened to this person crying doesn't look very convinced over here what questions do you think they'll be asking and they've got roger dijo being susto sir and intimido oh maybe intimidate to scare someone and they're trying to cry and ask for sympathy. Got lots going on here. All well, the characters look happy. They do all look very happy. And they're all very different if you look at them, the way that they're dressed, the colour of the skin. And you've got Dia, Desintas, Ambles and Tiempo. What are they all doing? Think about what this is trying to show. And then we're on to the next page with our character here. This person's looking a lot more happy and it looks like they're helping. And you've got Preoccupano. Compartimo, Ancho and Lado. So it's something communiario, that means community. It might be a community garden, maybe. Are they all showing that they can work together? They look quite happy there. What's, what's the moral of the story, do we think? All right, got something else on here. Oh no, this other character doesn't look very happy. Have they tripped over, possibly? And they've got Triste and Tenido. Now, what clues can you see? Oh, this looks very happy now. Showing a smiley face. Looks like they're helping this person up, which is good. Lahago and Toon. Aha. And this is the end of our, um, our book. Okay. Right, now that was an interesting one, wasn't it? Now, you can see the keywords. So I want you to discuss those with um, the person, in the adult in your zone. Think about what words are similar. Any words are different. Do you have your version of the story that you could talk through? Um, and then what I want you to do is um, listen to the other video clip, which is of another adult reading the story in English. And then your activity is going to follow. Okay.